So, Andrew Tate's time seemingly has been going quite well up until recently. He has been reinstated on Twitter. He had been invited on Piers Morgan, where he was actually received somewhat sympathetically. And you'd think, well, he's finally being rehabilitated. Well, that's where you're wrong, unfortunately. And uh, this Telegraph article, um, I had to go to an archive to find it because they changed it after the fact. And we'll look at the changed version afterwards. But this is the original, um, and it's titled Andrew Tate reportedly arrested in Romania following a human trafficking probe. And this version reads as follows. It says, Romanian prosecutor said on Thursday, um, which coincidentally is yesterday, um, they have detained divisive internet personality and former professional kickboxer Andrew Tate on suspicion of human trafficking, rape, and forming an organized crime group, which seems a little bit extreme, doesn't it? I mean, well, the you'd think that someone with that kind of profile would have enough sense to avoid these things. It's almost like maybe there is an additional reason why they might be doing this. Well, perhaps, but at the same time, he's been very open and clear about him and his brother running uh, an ethot webcam business. Mm -hmm. I think, was it from Romania that they were running that as well? It, it was, yeah. So those are the sorts of industries that, whether you intend to do it or not, is mm -hmm. going to probably... It's certainly going to attract some eyes, isn't it? It's going to attract some eyes. It's also going to attract the sorts of people who can get you in touch with willing girls, let's mm. say, who are maybe the victims of human trafficking. So I, I'm unsure of how to cover this right now just because it's it so early days. It is a difficult thing to cover. They, he's it? been arrested, but we don't know if there's going to be a conviction off the back of this. We don't know how accurate the information that they've got is. So I'm going to be quite careful on this one. What I will say is that Andrew Tate is somebody who has said some things I agree with. He's mm -hmm. also said some things I disagree with. And I wish that I wish that he didn't have that background in enabling mm -hmm. e-thottery because then it would make it much easier to support some of the more based takes mm. that he has had. I suppose it's a good moment to talk about my opinion of him because it's yeah. going to shape my coverage of this. But I think that it's good that he pushes back on wokeness and on feminism and I think he's right to do so. But some of his prescriptions for what masculinity entails, I disagree with. He seems to think that you need to be some sort of playboy womanizer. And I think that actually it's far better for you to be upstanding and being a family man. I think that's my vision of what a masculine man should be. That's a man the who's there I want. with a wife who he is faithful to and he raises children who he cares about. That's what I think yes. a, and I a masculine man should be. I definitely do not support his recent conversion to Islam, which he has then no. said that the rest of the West should follow in his wake, because mm -hmm. apparently apparently converting to Islam is what's going to remove the degeneracy from Western society. I highly doubt that. Um, hasn't he moved to the UAE as well, which is... I believe so. Well, he's, Dubai in particular is He's got one for, place there. He's probably mm -hmm. got a penthouse there, like he's got houses and all the places elsewhere. He's not elsewhere. doing badly for himself, is he? So he probably does have multiple houses, right? But yes, he's moved to basically a hive of scum and villainy, to, to paraphrase If you want, Star just Wars. look into TikTok and Instagram thoughts going to Dubai, but invited on special invitation by Saudis and such, and just see what they're asked to do. It's not Be nice. Be warned, it's not nice. No, it, this is not... It's pretty graphic. This is not the prescription that we need for a wholesome future. No, but carrying on with the article, Tate36 banned from many social media platforms for misogynistic comments, says The Telegraph, um, and hate speech, again, says The Telegraph, um, and his brother T Tristan will be detained for 24 hours alongside two Romanian suspects, um, prosecutors from the anti-organised crime unit said in a statement after raiding their properties in Bucharest. The Tate brothers have been under criminal investigation since April, and they declined to comment, but their lawyer confirmed they had been detained, and prosecutors claim they found Six women who um, the suspects had sexually exploited. Um, this is the prosecutors, of course. So that's outside of them potentially having hired victims of mm -hmm. human trafficking and actively sexually exploited some women. Yes, um, and I'm quoting directly from the prosecutor here. Um, the four suspects appear to have created an organised crime group with the purpose of recruiting, housing and exploiting women by forcing them to create pornographic content meant to be sent on specialised websites for a cost. Um, they would have gained important sums of money, they say. Okay, so that's just explaining that they had the they had the ethot website. Yes, and they're just saying that they may have exploited mm -hmm. some women in the process of yes. that. And I do think it's pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Once well, I think if you're running that kind of business, it probably would be very hard not to, whether you intend to or not, 
encounter people or even accidentally hire people who mm -hmm. are involved in human trafficking. Well, it's it's one of the many reasons why you shouldn't be doing this sort of thing in the first yes. place, really, isn't it? But um, it is worth mentioning as well, of course, that is a, the words of a prosecutor, so they're trying to give him as harsh a, a sentence as possible, right? So it's not necessarily a judge saying this, which might hold a bit more weight. Yeah, we'll see what happens when mm -hmm. it eventually goes to court or mm -hmm. gets settled. We'll see what happens. But the updated version of this article changed the title to Greta Thunberg claims credit for Andrew Tate's lover boy rape arrest, oh, which is an entirely a... different tone. So it seems like even the, the mainstream media are changing their tune depending on... This sounds a lot harsher, of course, but... It does, and it also brings Greta into it when, as far as I can tell, I know that there's been the meme going around mm -hmm. that his response video to Greta, the pizza boxes are what gave him away to the police, but that sounds highly unlikely. Mm -hmm. That sounds like an internet meme, whereas the Telegraph we just will be like, sounds legit that. to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think that uh, they do mention in the article, by the way, just to clarify that it's alleged that it's the pizza box. They don't actually say oh, okay. that it, it really was. But yes, they've changed it. And one thing that I noted in this article that was different is they say authorities in Romania said Tate, 36, a former professional kickboxer, used the lover boy method of trafficking, which involves a man luring a victim into a relationship in order to sexually exploit them later on. So this seems to be a new development. I'm not entirely sure um, which Romanian authorities they've got this from, but I can imagine that this may well be. Um, why they detained him in the first place. So this seems to be the reason. I imagine it's a they're... spokesperson for whatever mm -hmm. department were investigating him in mm -hmm. the first place. They also linked to this tweet as well, which is Greta Thunberg saying, this is what happens when you don't recycle your pizza boxes. And we will be exploring the significance of the pizza box, don't worry. But first, um, it's worth looking at this video, um, well, listening to it mainly, of Andrew Tate claiming that the authorities are going to come for him. And this was before he'd been arrested. So he mm. seemed to expect something to be happening. And lots of people have been speculating about whether, you know, there's some sort of grand conspiracy. And the, the truth is we don't have an, enough information yet yeah. to really be able to tell of these sorts of things. But let's listen to what he has to say for himself. Listen, and I'm going to say this on this podcast now to say it on every other one. I would never, ever kill myself. I truly believe they're going to come and they're going to try and kill me on a long enough time frame because they tried to shut me up and I won't shut up. They're either going to try and put me in jail or they're going to kill me. And I would never kill myself under any circumstances ever. And the reason I say this and I say this to people and they go, but what can they put you in jail for? And I'm like, how ignorant are you in your ignorance to believe they need a reason? You believe it's fair. You believe I can get a lawyer and prove myself innocent. That's not how it works. They decide you're guilty long before and they find a reason why. And it doesn't matter what you do about it, you will pay the f***ing price. It's not fair. None of it is. Every single system's corrupt. It actually annoys me when people say it to me. Well, just get a lawyer. Why? They can't put you in jail if you're innocent. Yes, they can. And that's what people don't understand about the world. They can and they do and they f***ing will. And that's what's... And that's all just true. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. And I think that him coming out and explicitly saying, yeah, I'm not going to kill myself, people don't do that flippantly, do they? Like, uh, no. you look at someone like uh, John McAfee, one of my personal heroes. Um, <laughs> and the man he's based his entire lifestyle <laughs> off of. Trust me, you should see some of the behind-the-scenes videos we've got around here. Whew. So, yeah, obviously John McAfee said, I'm definitely not going to kill myself, and then he turned up dead in a Spanish prison cell. So... Make of that what you will. People do end up dying after they say that. So it's it's possible. Although, you know, at the minute, I think he has been detained for 24 hours and released. So Yeah, he was also arrested for similar charges before and been that's released. Right. And as fact, far as that's aware. what I'm going to talk about next. And that is this article um, here. This is from August, um, titled, Andrew Tate claims he was swatted with fake report of human trafficking. So this could just be the same thing again, right? Yeah. Him being targeted is entirely possible. Um, but this goes on to say, Tate, who lives in Romania, explained to Tucker Carlson on Fox Nation, I was not arrested. What happened is I suffered from a case of swatting. It's very popular with people who are large on the internet, which is true. Um, it's where you call the police and you say somebody has a gun or there's a hostage situation and a SWAT team arrives. Somebody made a phone call to the American embassy saying I was holding women at my house, Tate explained. Um, and then I I'm quoting here directly. Um, the police turn up, they investigate, they realise nobody was in the house against their will. There was no crime committed. We had to go to the police station for 45 minutes for um, pieces of paper. We filed them in, um, filled them in, sorry, and we were let go. So that's entirely possible. That I mean, 
the same thing again, right? This this may just be my own bias talking. I do hope it's another situation like this because as much as I disagree with some of the things that Tate says mm -hmm. and some of his lifestyle choices and business decisions, once again, I do think he has been useful. He's a very prominent voice. He's very clear. He's nice and authoritative mm -hmm. in the way that he in the in the way that he speaks. So he's very useful. And also, I know having gone out in public and just met people that a lot of people really do like him young mm -hmm. men he's basically taken the place that jordan peterson was filling for young men about five six years ago yeah because jordan peterson mm -hmm. has decided instead of helping young men he wants to go after anons for some mm -hmm. reason so i do hope that this all turns out to just be a, a swat um a swat situation mm. it is important to acknowledge that you know people are nuanced they have good things and bad things and that's true of everyone so you can't just tar someone as good or bad um, entirely, and I think that it's good to to clarify what we agree with and what we don't. So, moving on to his spat with Greta Thunberg, um, here he tags Greta. Hello, Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has um, a W16 8-liter quad turbo. My two Ferrari um, 812s. Um, Compensione? I don't have one. Competition. Com oh my god! I thought I was going to own you by pronouncing it right. Competizione, <laughs> I assume. I just have uh, six liter V12. Yeah. Like you imagine an Italian would. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> I, I didn't go like this. That's, that's how I failed. I've got the slip back hair and the look though. Um, this is just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send the complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions, and then. Um, Greta replies, yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldenergy at getalife.com, which is an unusual email to have, Greta, but you know. Yeah, uh, this was, this honestly, this entire exchange on both parts was cringe because it was, yeah. this, uh, as far as I can tell, had Greta said anything to Andrew before this? He was just... Or was he just randomly throwing this out into the ether? A bit of a, like a humble brag. It's not exactly a humble brag. It's not brag. even that humble, No, this is, is just bragging. <laughs> I've got 33 cars. My Bugatti, incredibly expensive car. My two Ferraris, mm -hmm. they're incredibly expensive cars. He's just going, look how rich I am. I can afford these. Here's my incredibly processed picture of me looking fancy with my fancy car. By the way, I'm, the emissions, etc., etc. Greta Thunberg. And then Greta Thunberg comes up with the most half arsed mm. milk toast oh you've got a small willy response that you could ever imagine <laughs> it is infantile and isn't the it? entire left goes like, oh, <laughs> she she destroyed him it's no like, no every <laughs> this is just embarrassing for everyone that is exactly my thoughts but he also released a video response which we're going to watch because this is very important to one perspective on why he was arrested in the first place or how he was arrested more accurate release some greenhouse gases. I'm obviously a stranger to online controversy. It's not something I often do. But now, the mainstream press is commenting on the fact that I was informing Greta that my very extensive car collection with internal combustion <laughs> engines which run on dead dinosaurs have an enormous emission profile. And she replied by telling me her own email address. Greta's email address is I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address, Greta? Strange. I mean, also, I don't want to assume her gender. It's 50 50, but it is what it is. I'm not actually mad at Greta. Please bring me pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. Thank you. So I'm not actually mad at Greta, right? Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. She doesn't realize she's a slave of the matrix. She thinks she's doing good. Someone has sat her down and convinced her to try and convince you to beg your government to tax you into poverty to stop the sun from being hot. And then, because I called her out on it, the Global Matrix got this bot farm to like and retweet and all this bot commenting to try and pretend that her telling me that she has a small dick in her own email address somehow teaches me a lesson. Welcome to a new episode of The Clown Show. But now I know at least that Greta, with a little hate-filled face, bitter, sitting somewhere without the heating on, in the cold, little hat, shivering, <laughs> and she's Use my so. tweets, which is going to make my Twitter account 
far more fun into a tournament. He's obviously just having fun here, right? Yeah, that, that, that was a bit of fun. I, I actually agree with it quite <laughs> yeah, a bit. So do I, yeah. He said, especially about the bot farms, because if you remember a few, uh, <laughs> a few months ago, <laughs> earlier on this year, when we had a run-in with a particular leftist Twitch user, shall oh, we yeah. say, that th one. Th th there was um, a coordinated effort against us that we dug into and found that a lot of it is completely artificial, mm -hmm. drummed up through Discord servers and likely bots as well. Yes. Although, e Elon, if there are still bots on the site, please continue to work on getting rid of the bots, please. Please. They're just annoying. <clears throat> But yes, significant there is the pizza being delivered because it had the name of the pizza company, which was, of course, Romanian, which some allege, not necessarily me, but some people allege, that this is what led Romanian authorities to finding out that he was caught. But of course, that there is also the fact that he came into the country with a passport and they know where he lives. They've been to his house before. It's, it's very unlikely that it just happened to be that some... I don't know, FBI Romania equivalent was just watching his Twitter and went, oh my god, Romanian pizza, let's get him, boys. <laughs> Call in the cavalry, he's eating pizza. <laughs> so yes, um, this isn't um, just my opinion. I've seen elsewhere here on, I believe this is a blog by someone named Ben Dreyfus. I don't necessarily know who he is, but he claims to have read um, the Romanian journalism uh, going on, and apparently none of them claim that it was the pizza box that caught him out. And he says, there are lots of stories in the US and Britain claiming that. Why? Well, they're all basically citing each other. But if you dig through the citations, you eventually come to the Daily Star, which cites an American Twitter account, which the press are pretty guilty of. That's and always took... fun when you follow the citations, isn't it? <laughs> I know, yeah. But thankfully, I think lots of the press are correcting this misinformation. I mean, it's not like the mainstream media to misinform the public, is it? I mean, they never do that. I've never seen that once. I've not even heard of any departments mm -hmm. that they try and set up in the US government to try and mm -hmm. spread, or sorry, prevent misinformation and disinformation, which mm -hmm. definitely doesn't mean spreading misinformation and disinformation. Mm -hmm. One of the most compelling reasons for him being arrested, other than what's been explicitly stated by the prosecutors, is from this thread, and he says, before you develop a theory that the CIA took down Andrew Tate because he threatened to masculinise American men, consider he went on the internet bragging he had bought off Romanian officials, and they're sensitive about this as they're trying to conform to the EU and join the Schengen zone. And then it carries on to say, um, Austria is literally holding up Romania's efforts to join the Schengen zone right now. They also don't have the euro yet, and they don't want an American celebrity screaming to the world that they can all be bought. Um, also, one of the reasons Austrians list is that Romania is a hub of human trafficking. If Tate is involved in that, even on the periphery, it's a huge headache for, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Johannes, um, and entire government. Um, very smart friend tells me, there is um, possibly mafia element like John Gotti um, went down because he um, aimed at mainstream celebrity. Tate was too high profile and if he was connected with gambling and whores, <laughs> um, his partner would sell him out to the government who um, also want no stench of corruption. These are all guesses, of course, but the point is um, easy USA conspiracy theories are also guesses and quite a bit more stupid based on what we know. And I, th I think that's reasonable, obviously. That all sounds logical. We can't know whether this is true, but this is another opinion that you might hold. Um, and I, I'm just presenting information for people to make up their own minds because I don't really know what to think at the minute. But moving on, uh, on a completely unrelated note, I have a contemplations number episode, um, episode number 84, sorry, the Manosphere's disastrous dating advice, where we talk about some of the the worst dating advice. Um, that tells people to like memorize scripts and things like that rather than just trying to cultivate the virtues in which you embody. Basically coaching people to behave a certain way which is insincere rather than teaching them to be virtuous in and of themselves. And we, me and Connor take this down. This is quite old, but I thought it was relevant because um, the Manosphere have come to Andrew Tate's defense, rightly or wrongly. I'm not here to say so. As far as I can tell, he's kind of in that sphere would you mm -hmm. count him as a manosphere thinker i don't know really oh, okay. truth be told maybe he is um, but it's up to him to to choose that right but anyway i'm moving on to some of the reactions to andrew tate's arrest um first one i wanted to draw attention to and this is um this you is that pointed I, I drew your attention yeah. to this yes <laughs> um so 
Hassan Piker, um, infamous for being a coward and not fighting Sam Hyde, um, says Andrew Tate fans thinking doing sex trafficking and bragging about it is leaving the Matrix, but he hasn't been convicted of it yet. For a start. For for a start. Also, Hassan, move to the next article because mm-hmm. we know where, where this is going. Hassan Piker is a man who has proudly stated mm-hmm. that he has gone to brothels before, particularly yes. a famous one from Berlin mm-hmm. called I'm gonna, Artemis. Yeah, I'm going to read an extract from this Daily Dot article t- um, titled, A lot more people um, see sex work than you think. Um, Hassan Piker says he went to a brothel sparking debate. And that sounds like says, cope to me. It no, it's, it's completely normal, mm-hmm. bro. Everyone does it. Everyone pays for sex, bro. Mm-hmm. So it says as follows, a clip of Twitch streamer and commentator Hassan Piker saying he has hired sex workers um, before ignited debate on Twitter. He specifically said he has hired uh, workers from Berlin's Artemis, a brothel. Piker was responding to someone in his chat asking, have you ever had an escort? No shame, obviously, sex work equals real work, which isn't really true. If you have to proclaim something as real work, then it probably isn't, just in the same way that if you have to proclaim yourself king, you're probably not king. Um, And it Quotes directly here from Hassan. I've gone to a brothel Artemis in Berlin and had sex with the workers there. Piker said, I don't hide it. I don't give an S. Why would I? Well, because there are pathetic. plenty of reasons. <laughs> yes, exactly. For one, because mm-hmm. it's pathetic. And two, maybe because it's a little bit hypocritical of you to be criticising Tate right now, given mm-hmm. that whether or not it happened years before it was you visited two years there, before. two years before Hassan Piker visited this particular brothel, Artemis, it was, in fact, in the next article, raided by the German police in 2016 for potential trafficking. Mm-hmm. 900 police officers have taken part in a raid a on one of brothel. Germany's biggest brothels in Berlin, making six arrests over alleged human trafficking and tax fraud. Um, the operation follows months of investigation into Artemis brothel. So yes, he's actively supported a business which has been tied to, at the very least, yes, human trafficking. So, Not saying that he actually had sex with victims mm-hmm. of human trafficking years or anything before. So but, I don't want to smear him in that way. I just want to smear Hassan, as always, as a hypocritical retard that he is. <laughs> Which isn't a smear, that's just an honest observation. That, that is objective fact. Mm. So, moving on, we have uh, Ethan Klein. Um, <laughs> and that's why I call him Andrew the Human Trafficker. We're, he, we're he really sent- going through the dregs for these are. responses, aren't we? <laughs> I thought it would be funny just to look at the, the creatures at the bottom of the earth and what they're saying. He sent me a cease and desist threatening to sue me for defamation for saying he's a human trafficker because he's not been convicted. He's allowed to do that. Um, what else am I supposed to call someone that buys and sells human beings against their will? Again, it has not been proven yet. Andrew Tate, the human trafficker. You're just asking to be sued, Ethan. I would like Ethan Klein to be sued. I so think, would I. Honestly... I, know, I don't want to sound like a commie or anything, mm-hmm. uh, because I know they hate the rich and they don't think rich people should have money just for evil mor- their e- evil morals. I would like to see Ethan Klein rendered destitute, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I, obviously, not wishing any ill will on his own children. If that were to happen, I would hope that some something could be done to make sure his children live a good and comfortable life. Ethan Klein specifically, though, no. You belong in the gutter. I mean... <laughs> I wouldn't wish poverty on anyone, but I don't think he he deserves wealth either. So moving on to something that's perhaps a bit more controversial. Here we have Eliza Blue. I don't. I'm not familiar with her. I just assume Blue. Blue. Yeah. Okay. Um, So someone's saying, kind of funny that Eliza's been quiet about Tate, especially since they claim to be about stopping sexual assault and ending human trafficking. And she says. You pointed to a tweet, I have not been at liberty to discuss that individual because I've been serving one of his accusers as a survivor advocate. Um, So that's interesting. That's very interesting, yeah. Um, So clearly there are accusers. I didn't really know about this, if this is to be believed, of course, which I don't know. From whenever I've seen her on Twitter, Eliza does seem like a trustworthy person for the most part. Mm -hmm. And obviously she's a human trafficking survivor herself, so it's something that's very important to her. Uh, yeah, I would be surprised if she were lying, but, I mean, it, you, you can never believe anyone at face value, really, can you? So, moving on to someone else. Um, this is Julia Hartley Brewer, who tweeted this shortly before Tate was convicted, but someone was say, talking about um, the, the Greta spat. Um, I think she's quoting Greta directly here. And she says, I'd choose Andrew Tate's life every single time over the life of a half-educated, doom-mongering, eco-cultist, 
and the only car I own is a diesel Tiguan. Is this? Did you say this is a Greta quote? And this is Julia Hartley Brewer reacting to oh, okay. Greta. Yeah, just because I, I feel I, I, I agree that yes, I prefer Andrew Tate for the time being before mm -hmm. before anything's been proven. I prefer Andrew Tate and, his, Tate and his rhetoric to Greta Thunberg's doom and gloom. I feel like it's weird to just phrase it as I choose his life over yours every time. That feels <laughs> really weird to just go there. It, it also seems a little bit mean. Yeah, she's it's only a, a young. I mean, she's, I mean, she's, she's a young autistic. child that's been manipulated and, into doing stuff yeah, by she, her parents. Yeah, her parents have been there behind the scenes the mm. entire time. Greta Thunberg is not somebody who has come to, like Tate said, Greta Thunberg is not somebody who's come to these conclusions mm -hmm. on her own through her own research and volition. She's been given these opinions. Yeah, and although I'm not going to defend her, I, I'm a little bit. So I feel a little bit sorry for her in a way. You've got to have a bit of humanity, don't you? I mean, with a face like that, you'd have to feel <laughs> bad for her, wouldn't you? <laughs> no comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, moving on to Blair White. Um, I'm not going to talk about... Um, of course, Julia Hartley Brewer pointed out that she um, Greta was autistic and then retracted it rather shamefully. I don't know why. You should. She points it out in her bio. Stand by it. Yeah. But it's never mind. Pretty She's easy. deleted the original one. Blair White brings up a good point. Whether Andrew Tate is guilty or not, they skipped the entire Jeffrey Epstein client list because um, he's their enemy and the people on that list aren't, which is always worth drawing attention to, that the media for all around Andrew Tate is far greater than that Any around... Any lasting effects of the Epstein debacle. Which you think is in the public interest. Everyone I've spoke to, um, just normal people that don't necessarily follow politics, when I say to them, are you interested in finding out who's linked to the Jeffrey Epstein paedophile ring. They're like, of course. Everyone should be. I find the, the best example to, uh, of when to bring that, uh, that particular subject up is when you're speaking to an absolute NPC mm -hmm. who thinks you're a conspiracy theorist, and they go, well, do you think some elite paedophile ring runs the world? And you go, Epstein. And they immediately, give, they've got no response for it. They just shut up because they mm -hmm. can't really say anything. Well, I mean... The Epstein's ring was a conspiracy. There's no doubt about that. Of so course, but it was a just proven conspiracy. True. Mm. I mean, uh, the only thing I would say about what Blair has said here is that um, to I, I would suggest going back to the thread that you read out earlier, just talking about how this wasn't US authorities going mm -hmm. for him. It was Romanian authorities. Of course, Although, yeah. of course, intelligence networks across international lines, who knows mm -hmm. what's really going on behind the scenes. Yeah, once the smoke is cleared, we can have a better idea of what caused this. But moving on to um, this next one, Here's an opinion that I would be hesitant to agree with. Um, I would not be at all surprised if the EU and or the US government strong-armed the Ro um, Romania into arresting Andrew Tate. He's a threat to their worldview, and they would have no qualms about throwing him in jail on trumped-up charges. I mean, I agree that the authorities would be happy to throw him in jail for tr trumped-up charges, but I don't know about the overarching collaboration. We, we need a bit more evidence yeah. to prove that, even though I can believe that to be the case. Um, and finally, um, he's back on Twitter. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, they only held him for 24 hours, but who knows what's going to develop from this. He could end up still going to prison, depending on what the authorities do. But he says, uh, to end the segment, the Matrix sent their agents. So hopefully we find out a bit more about this, because this is certainly an interesting development and something I didn't see coming. Yeah. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as the book clubs we do, this one on the concept of representation. If you'd like to find out what else we're putting out, you can follow us on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.